So you're new to making music and you've had a chance to experiment with Launchpad Intro or you've chosen to get straight into using Live. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and activate your copy of Ableton Live 10 Lite, which comes with your Launchpad. If you didn't open or use Launchpad Intro and you want to check it out, you can either use the back button in your browser or you can find a link to Launchpad Intro inside your account. I'll then show you how to set up your audio preferences so that you're ready to start making music. If you've already got Ableton Live 10 installed, you can skip to the next video. Please note that your Launchpad will not be able to take full control of Ableton Live 9. So we recommend that Live 9 users install Ableton Live 10 Lite if you want to access the Launchpad's full functionality, including clip launching, mixer control, and more. In order to access your free copy of Ableton Live Lite, create an account by clicking the button below. If you've already created an account, this button will say, take me to my software, which we'll use later in this video. If you'd rather follow a PDF step-by-step -step guide for this installation, you'll find it below this video. Ableton Live is software for making and performing music. Ableton Live is used by a range of creators from new music makers, all the way up to professionals and it contains all of the tools that you need to start creating music. Ableton Live is a DAW, which stands for Digital Audio Workstation. Now other examples of DAWs that you may have heard of include Pro Tools, Logic Pro X, GarageBand, FL Studio and more. So let's get Ableton Live installed for you. Click on the Take Me To My Software button below this video. You'll be taken to your Novation account where you can see all of the content that you're entitled to as a Launchpad owner. Scroll down to where you see Ableton Live Lite and select Get Ableton Live Lite. Here you'll see your registration code for Ableton Live Lite and we'll need this later on in the tutorial. So please highlight the code, right click and select copy and then click on the code. Now let's download Ableton Live Lite. Select your operating system in this drop down menu and select download. Head to the downloads folder on your Mac and you'll see the installer for Ableton Live Lite downloading. Double click on the downloaded installer to run it. Drag the Ableton application into the applications folder just here. Once this is finished, go to the applications folder and open Ableton Live. If you're running macOS Mojave or above, you may need to allow the application to run by heading to System Preferences, Security and Privacy, clicking just here and entering your password. You'll be presented with a dialog box telling you to activate Live. Now, as long as you've got an internet connection, select activate at ableton.com. This will take you to Ableton's website where you'll need to either register for an account or log into an existing account if you happen to have one. To create an account, enter your details here and then select create account. Once logged into your new or existing account, you'll be asked for your registration code for Ableton Live Lite. This is the code that you right clicked and copied earlier in this tutorial. So right click inside this box and select paste. If the code hasn't copied into the box, then don't worry, we'll go back and grab the code again in just a second. If the code did successfully copy, then you'll be told that Ableton Live Lite has been successfully activated and is ready to use. If you need to grab your registration code again, click on the Take Me To My Software button below. You'll be taken to your Novation account Scroll down until you see the Ableton Live Lite banner and copy your code. Then return to the Ableton site and paste the code like so and select Submit. You'll now be told that Live Lite has been activated and is ready to use. Now the final step is to set up your audio preferences. Go to Live, Preferences, audio. Ensure that the driver type is set to core audio and if you're using your Mac's built-in headphone port or speakers then select built-in output. 
If you're using an audio interface like the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2, for example, select that from the drop down menu and make sure that you have headphones or speakers connected to the interface. To test that you can hear audio coming from live, turn on the test tone by clicking off next to test tone to turn it on and you'll hear the sound coming from your headphones and or speakers. Click here again to turn off the test tone. Ableton Live is now set up and ready to go. Next up, we've created a set of tutorials to help you get started with your launchpad in Ableton Live.